any party look is incomplete without a face primer so I'm using this one by L'Oreal I just got it recently and I must say I'm quite impressed smoothing out the primer all over my face and I'm focusing mainly on the sides of my nose and on the tip of my nose also on my forehead here because that is the area where I have a lot of pores and uh, a lot of fine lines and a primer basically helps to smoothen out the skin it fills in any pores or fine lines and it helps to uh, create a very smooth canvas for your makeup today I'm going to be using my all-time favorite foundation by L'Oreal this is the true match foundation and I'm just taking like about a pump of it on the back of my hand and then taking my damp beauty blender I'm just going to just spray some fix plus all over it I'm just patting that all over my face like this and with the beauty blender all you need to do is just keep going all around your face in patting motions like this and it just blends out the foundation so well and it looks really even and it actually makes the foundation look like real skin at the moment I am absolutely in love with this combination of concealers because these two together provides a very good match for my skin tone um, the Maybelline one on its own is uh, too light for my skin which is why I like to dot a few dots of the Revlon concealer later on and as you can see I'm placing the concealer on the center portion of my face because that is the area which we want to really highlight and then again taking my beauty blender I am going to blend all of that away so just keep on patterning and blending all of that away now it's time to set all of that concealer in place and I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent face powder along with this tiny Real Techniques contour brush and then I'm going to take quite a lot of powder on the brush and just Pat that over the areas where I just apply the concealer. Just pat it on and let it stay there in place for a while. So next, moving on to the eyes, I'm going to start off by filling in my eyebrows using this e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the shade Dark. I just sort of sweep the brush along the direction of my hair growth like this I'm not a person who likes that really made up looking brows like the trend on Instagram but I prefer to keep my brows as natural looking as possible I just like to make it a bit darker and fuller Next I'm using my Max Paint Pot in Painterly and this product is so amazing because it sort of provides evenness to my eyelids because my eyelids are slightly pigmented and it also provides a very good base for the eyeshadows to stick to and for today's eye makeup I'm going to be using my MAC eyeshadows and this is a quad that I created myself it's a customized quad so the first shade that I'm going to take is this one here it's called expensive pink and it's a gorgeous uh, rose gold shade packing on the color onto my lids like this concentrating the color under the crease since I wasn't so satisfied with the color payoff I went ahead and wet my brush with some fix plus and this really helps to intensify the eyeshadow and then I'm applying the same eyeshadow to the inner corners of my lower lash line as well next I'm gonna take this shade called Embark and it's a reddish earthy brown sort of a shade and I'm applying that to my crease area like this just kind of adding more of the eyeshadow and intensifying the depth of the crease area and I'm taking some more of the same eyeshadow and kind of darkening this outer V portion of my eyes next to clean out the uneven edges I'm taking some of my translucent face powder on a fluffy brush and just going over and bark you want to blend it really well so that all the eyeshadows look kind of seamless. I'm taking the same eyeshadow in a smaller brush and I'm going to place that on the outer corner of my lower lash line like this. 
take them taking this black liquid liner that I got in my October fab bag. I'm just lining my line as close to the lash line as possible. And I must say I'm quite impressed with this. It goes on so smoothly and it has a felt tip. It makes it so much more easier to apply eyeliner. And uh, this eyeliner is also quite jet black and it has a very nice matte sort of finish to it. I am not a big fan of glossy looking eyeliners so I am pretty impressed with this one. I also like to apply some eyeliner to the inner corners of my lower lash line as well. Lastly, I'm taking this nude eye pencil by NYX and I'm going to line my lower waterline like so. And what this is going to do is this is going to sort of brighten up the eyes and make it look slightly bigger than what it is. So as you can see the difference, uh, the eyebrow applied nude eyeliner looks so much more bigger and brighter than the one where I have it. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eyes as well. And then for my bottom eyelashes, I have been absolutely obsessed with Oriflame's The One Mascara because the wand is so tiny and it's perfect for my bottom lashes and I can finally apply lots and lots of mascara to my bottom lashes without having them smeared all over my skin. Next I added some false eyelashes by Ardell off camera because I find it extremely difficult to hold one mirror in one hand and then to apply my eyelashes. Although the lash glue dries clear but I like to go over the band one more time with my liquid liner just to make sure that um, none of the lash glue is visible and this makes it look much more natural. Next I'm taking my mascara and just blending the false lashes with my real ones. Now that the eyes are done, it's time to add some colour to the face. And whenever it comes to contouring the face, I am absolutely obsessed with sleek contour kit. So I just take the product onto my fan brush like this and Making a fish bath, I go under my um, cheekbones like this and the fan brush makes the job so much more easier and uh, it's also a lot more quicker I feel and it really helps me contour the face without putting in too much of effort and stuff like that. I also go on the sides of my forehead like this and a little bit over my forehead as well. Then I also like to go under my jawline because it sort of gives a very nice chiseled look to the jawline. And if you have a double chin then you can also go ahead and apply some bronzer under your chin area. And with whatever is left on the fan brush I just sweep that along the side of my nose like this. It gives my nose a slight contour. Contouring is all done. Now it's time to add some colour to the cheeks and I'm going in with my NYX blush in the shade Pinch and this is a beautiful burnt pink sort of a shade and since I'm going in for a very bold uh, red lip shade I like to keep my blush as neutral as possible it's a very subtle colour, nothing too fancy Next to highlight the face, I'm going in with my MAC eyeshadow in the shade True and this is an eyeshadow but it works absolutely well as a highlighter and it actually really bright brightens up the face as well I also add some highlighter on the cupid's bow to give my lips that pouty sort of an effect and also a little bit on the bridge of my nose and I feel party makeup should be very glowy and dewy not very cakey and powdery looking so I'm going ahead and spray some of my MAC Fix Plus all over my face Whenever I'm going for a bold lip I always like to apply some lip liner first because lip liners helps to make the application much more easier and it also keeps the lipstick from smearing all around your lips So I'm going in with my NYX lip pencil in the shade Blush Red and just drawing the shape of my lips and then filling it up as well So once I've perfected the lip shape then I like to go in with my lipstick and I'm going in with my current favourite 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 red lipstick 
and this one is by Chambord and it's their extreme matte lip color in the shade fiery red and I have about four of these lip colors and I've swatched them all in a video which I'm going to link somewhere here so make sure to go and check that out and I make it a point that my lipstick is extremely long lasting whenever I'm going out for a party or something which is why I absolutely love this product this is called Lip Coat you just need to apply a very thin layer of this over your lipstick and this product is going to make your lipstick last for a very long time and you can wear this look to any party or any festival like Diwali, Christmas or anywhere you can also wear it to a wedding so if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because I've got more tutorials coming up for this festive season I will see you guys in my next one